Alright then, let's continue with Mega Mary Virgin B. <laughs> Excuse me, damn it. That was sad. Okay, let's continue with Mega Mary Virgin B. Sheesh. Back to that doll. Now, of course, there's a bit of an exploit you can do. Here. You so desire, that is. Basically, if you use the time stop correctly, you can skip this part of the battle. But I'm not going to do it unless I lose a life. Then I'm gonna try to fight her legit, if possible. Even if I am getting royally owned by her, unfortunately. Okay, switch to Alice. Huh. <sighs> I might not need to after all. Fortunately, Marissa's the one with the weakness of the first form of this boss. Yeah. Riding machine, basically. Should be a pretty familiar one. That wasn't gonna go well at all. Now, if I can do this correctly, I can show it off. Basically, you jump, and you activate it, and you can walk past her. Like so. I have need it, actually. I'm not sure if it's potential or a glitch, but in retrospect, it kind of makes sense. You walk past her, as she's time stop, and she's like, wait, where'd you go? And she comes after you. At least that's my theory, anyway. Now, another reason I didn't... Well, one reason I, I didn't really want to use this too much... On my non-recording, that weapon was because... It's a weakness. Also, for some reason, Raymu's weapon can actually hurt her pretty badly. So you can just use Raymu's weapon against Raymu. Of course, you need to save some for Amelia, but whatever. Alright, another part of the challenge when it comes to this game or any Mega Man clone is realizing the weapon you use against the boss. So then the gauntlet might also be the weakness of the said boss. The end of the gauntlet stage. And yeah, you can skip this boss too, but I'm not going to. Using the same time stop trick, hoping to be her legit. And here goes. Luckily, I can spam this a bit. Still do damage even after activating it. Thanks, game. Gotta get her to perish. to Marissa. I like the Yang Yang over for this battle for one reason. It gives me an excuse to stay up here. 
much as possible because this is where you're essentially need to be once the boss starts doing that. And I'm gonna recharge Alice because simple fact that she has a weakness. The design of this wall that's kind of amusing. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, fuck. Cheap. That was not good at all. Unfortunately for me. As I was saying, the design of the world was amusing. The idea of the Roddy Capsule not being the final boss just feels a bit on the odd side to me. Because I'm so used to it. And now. You just have to do it like there. Keep going forward. And once again, she realizes you got past her defenses. And I'm going to use Alice's weapon first. Might as well spam it here. Does a lot more damage anyway. I can just get up there, Marissa. Don't you? And just keep spamming, and she's dead. Where's the machine is anyway? Yeah, overall, this went a lot easier than last time. Did still screwed up in the capsule stage area because of, well, it's just kind of hard for me to decide what order to take the what masters or girls in this case on because they tend to have cases where some of the battles are easy and some are hard. And you don't want to take on too many easy ones in a row. You don't want to take on too many hard ones in a row as well. Balancing that. Made even harder by the fact that your weaknesses are split among the characters unless you gave everyone weapon to one person. And there goes Marissa again with her stolen books. Okay, her books she liberated, whatever. And Alice can't catch up with her. But in the end, Marissa forgot one very important thing. And that is, stuff has to land somewhere. So much for a house. You know, if they had continued this, I wonder what character been the world with Masters in the next game. What well, fun to see. Well, with that, I've officially completed Let's Play Mega Mary, both version A and version B. It's kind of a fun experience to do this. Now I have to decide what else to do after it. And worry about my drive space, too. Oh, well. Hmm. I wonder if I should try that Rolls and Quirks or whatever game. Looks like way more vicious than this was. Again, I'm so used to this game because I practiced it a lot in the past. And I know how to work, although it would appear much better because you can beat this without losing a life or taking any damage, probably. But I'm not them. Either way, I should end this now and go on to something else in the future where that will be. So, bye for now. Make sure you realize that Marissa is ready to defeat anyone in any style of games. Yeah.